it's going to be cold, and the rut is going to be great. Come on, Jason. Some I don't care where those bucks are going to come from or where you think they're going to come from. No matter what, they're not going to stop until they get to that downwind side. Oh, that's a big buck, buddy. It's beginning to happen. We're seeing plenty of rut-like activity, just not everywhere, every time. The does are still on the feed, but the bucks are in the starting gate and ready to go. It's nothing to see a wall hanger buck just standing near a bedded doe or staring at a group of does while they feed, and then keep on feeding. Eventually, he loses his patience and rushes the group, or just loses interest and moves on, hoping to get lucky. Hope springs eternal in pre-rut bucks. The doe fawn groups are beginning to be separated and the does are giving the bucks plenty of room. You never know when a buck's testosterone will make him forget his manners. Bucks are feeling the first rushes of testosterone, but the older ones are mostly moving on a pattern. Follow a rub line back from a feeding area into the woods and set up where you find a cluster of rubs, a place a buck is staging before heading out to feed. These will often be on finger ridges that come off larger ridges or on points between bottoms. The best time to hunt is still in the evening, but that's about to change and is not the hard rule it was in early to mid-October. With the cold front hitting much of the Midwestern US in the past few days, coupled with the rutting moon of October 28, deer movement has been at a peak and will remain that way through the next few days. The red moon peak activity hours, coinciding with the morning sits, are proving to be successful for most hunters this week and will stay that way into the weekend. Colder temps, moon phase, and the calendar flipping to November are a recipe for high activity sits on a stand, and the chance of catching your buck on his feet are increasing daily. Why well, tell deer a whole lot like people? You have some people that talk a lot, and you have some deer that talk a lot. They make all kinds of different sounds, and for years we thought the only sound they made was that sound when they discovered you or smelled you in a way they went. But spending time around deer, particularly in research areas where I could be very close to them, I listen to the many sounds that they make. And there's so many of them, but uh, I'm sure they all have meaning to the deer. But for the most part, the hunter, when he's out, the sounds that he really needs to know are just the simple grunt, just the eh, eh, eh kind of sound. And sometimes a shorter sound. A lot of times when I'm walking into an area to rattle, I'll just take a few steps and go bang, take a few steps and go bang, kind of like a buck does. Now the most aggressive sound that a deer makes is called a snort wheeze. And when I started doing those things many years ago, people laughed at me, but uh, since that time we've seen commercial grunt calls come out as well for those, but it's a And that's a, kind of a challenge call, if you will. Now, if you see a buck walking and he doesn't seem to want to stop, if you'll make it sound, one or two things going to happen. Either he's going to stop, turn around, give you a better look, or he's going to take off at a run because he's just been whipped. Dare to try different sounds. Deer are just like people. They all make different sounds. They all have a different kind of voice. This week, you'll want to be in travel corridors between a buck's bed and food, especially when cold fronts pass through and immediately after. You want to carefully, with good entry and exit strategies, Hunt these transition places where bucks move between feeding and bedding while scent checking does. Evening sits should put you just downwind of well-worked scrapes located back in the forest and as close to bedding cover as you can safely get. Bucks are checking on does, but at any given day, some does may be coming into estrus. Mature bucks will be the last to move now. The 2023 Rut Report is proudly brought to you by these fine partners. Mossberg, since 1919. Taurus, award-winning pistols and revolvers. Pyramid Air, the right products for your needs. Raw Frozen Scents. Habit Outdoors. Forget Genetics. Reveal Cellular Cameras. Spy Point Cameras. Stealth Cam and Muddy Outdoors.